All right, guys, here we are. New set of notes. So make sure you have paper and pencil out ready to get started. All right, first thing that we always do is we identify the name of these notes, right? And the name of these notes are Solve System by Elimination Part 2. So we did part one last time, right? This is part two, okay? So let's go over um, our bullet points. So first bullet point is we look for opposite X's or Y's, right? Always step one, look for opposite X's or Y's, okay? Next, we're going to multiply equation to make X or Y opposites, right? If we have to, we're gonna multiply the equation to make X or Y opposites, right? Next, we are going to eliminate the X's or the Y's, right? If the X's eliminate, eliminate the X's. If the Y's eliminate, eliminate the y's right next we're going to solve one variable either x or y you're going to solve for either x and we're going to solve for either y one of the two right then finally we are going to solve for the other variable x or y so if we solve for x first we're gonna solve for y second. If we solved for y first, we're gonna solve for x second. Okay, got that? So, let's read the instructions, right? We always read the instructions. Solve, it says, right? solve each system by elimination. So, Let's solve these two examples right here, these two dudes right here by elimination, right? So let's do that. So let's look at this first example here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look for opposites, right? So six X and negative 12 X are not opposites. Opposite signs, positive, negative, but they're not the same number. Negative three Y and positive 13 Y, they're op one negative, one positive, but they're not the same numbers as well. So this is where step two comes in that said, multiply equation to make X or Y opposite, right? Multiply equation to make X or Y positive, uh, opposite, excuse me. So look what happens here. How do I make this 12 right here? I'm sorry, this six, I'm thinking ahead. How do I make this six into a 12? What do I do? I multiply, right? What do I multiply it by? Multiply it by two, right? So first thing I forgot to do, right? I'm sure you guys are thinking it. Mister, what are you doing? I got to highlight each equation, right? So I'll, I'll multiply, I'll highlight that one green, I mean a yellow and the second one green. So again, if this was 12, it could cancel with this negative 12. So how do I make this one right here 12? Exactly, I know what you're thinking. You multiply it by two, right? So if I take this entire equation and I'm gonna multiply it by two. So two times six X is 12x, okay. 2 times negative 3y is negative 6y equals 2 times negative 33 is negative 66. And everybody see this yellow one right here? This is a green one, excuse me? Nothing happened to that green one, so I'm just going to bring that green one down. I'm going to say negative 12x plus 13y is equal to 3. 
I copied it exactly the way it was. And then now, look what happens. 12x and negative 12x are the opposites. And we know that when we see opposites, yo, we cancel them out, right? Boom, boom, gone. So now we have negative 6y and positive 13y are not the same sign, so I gotta subtract. 13 minus 6 is 7y, and it's a positive 7y because 13 is bigger and 13 is a positive. And I say equals. Negative 66 and a positive 3 are not the same sign, so I subtract. 66 minus 3 is 63, and it's a negative because 66 is bigger and 66 is a negative, right? So I draw my line of separation. The opposite of 7 times y is divided by 7, and I get y is equal to a negative divided by a positive is a negative, and 63 divided by 7 is 9. And look at that, there's my y. But just like the assignment before, we remembered that our answer must be in x comma y form, right? Fortunately for us, we have y down. See, we found y. y is equal to negative 9. We have y. That means that we need to find x. So I'm going to go back here to these yellow and green, which one to you looks the easiest, right? And you know what? I'm not even going with the easiest. I'm not going to go with the easiest. I'm going to go with my favorite color, yellow. Plus, yellow is Lakers. Green is Celtics. I can't go Celtics. I got to go Lakers. So I'm going to pick yellow right here. So let me rewrite yellow. So, I'm going to draw an arrow here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I'm going to rewrite the yellow one here. Six x, exactly the way I see it. 6x minus 3y is equal to negative 33. But, as you can see here, I have y. That means that I could, y equals negative 9. That means that I can plug in negative 9 in there. So I can make this a parentheses and I put negative nine inside. So six X minus three parentheses is equal to negative 33. And we said that negative nine is gonna go in there. So negative nine. So I draw my line of separation. I'm going to multiply these two, negative three times negative nine is a positive 27, but I'm immediately gonna take this positive 27 and move it over and make it negative 27, right? Like that. So I still have six X, which means six times X. Negative 33 and negative 27 are the same sign. So we're the same sign. I add them, 33 plus 27 is 60. And I get a negative 60 because 33 is bigger and 33 is the negative, right? So the opposite of multiplying by 6 is dividing by 6. So I get x is equal to a negative divided by a positive is a negative. 60 divided by 6 is 10. And look at that. I have my x. Boom. I have both, right? So, I could write my final answer as equals my x, x goes first, right, is negative 10. So, negative 10, comma, my y goes second, y is negative 9. So, negative 9. So, this is my final answer right here. There you go. Look at that. That is the first example. Negative 10, negative 9 is where these two equations, when we graph them on a the graph, that's where they crash. That's where they intersect. That's where they touch. That's where they come together. Right? That's all different words. 
of them literally one is going that one line is going that way the other line is going that way and right here where they touch that's that we just found that out by doing regular math without graphing okay that's the first example of the kind of problems you're going to see in the worksheet okay let's do the second example here okay so let us highlight the first equation and then I'm going to highlight the second equation. Again, let's look for opposites, okay? Let's look for opposites. So I have 9x and 8x. Those are not opposites, obviously. They, they're even the same positive-positive. That doesn't work. Positive 8y and positive 2y. That's not going to work either. But wait a minute. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. If this 2y right here was negative 8, it can cancel with this positive 8 right here. Again, if this positive 2y was negative 8y, it could cancel with this positive 8y. But the question is, how do I make this a negative 8? I multiply, right? What do I multiply by? I multiply by negative 4. So I'm going to put negative 4 here on the outside like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply negative 4 times 8. I'm going to put blue here. Negative 4 times 8 is a negative 32x. Negative 4 times 2y is a negative 8y equals negative 4 times 0 is 0. Now, everybody see this red equation here? Nothing happened to that dude. So I'm going to copy red equation exactly the way it is. 9x plus 8y is equal to 23. Look at that. Now, I draw my line here, right? And look, negative 8y, positive 8y, they're opposites. Boom, they're going to go away just like that. And that's exactly what I wanted, right? So in this one, I multiplied by negative 4, right? In the first equation, I just multiplied by regular just 2. But on the second uh, problem, I had to multiply it by negative 4. Not just regular 4, but negative 4. So as we said, these two dudes cancel each other out. Right? So I'm left with a negative 32x and a positive 9. Those are different signs. 32 minus 9 is 23x. And it's a negative 23 because 32 is bigger and 32 is a negative. So I bring down my equal. 0 plus 23 is 23. Well, this means multiply. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 23 is dividing by negative 23. So I get x is equal to a, neg a positive divided by a negative is a negative. And 23 divided by 23 is one and there you go look at that there is my x x is equal to negative one what well as we remembered our answer needs to be an x comma y and fortunately for us this is x right here i found x so i can put a check on x but that means i need to find y next right i found x first now i need to find y so which one of these two am i going to pick these original one the red one or the blue one again everybody there's no way i go red i go dodger blue all the way guys blue 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 okay so i am going to pick blue but with this kind of blue here so I'm going to rewrite this blue right, over here on this side. 
So the blue says 8x plus 2y is equal to 0. Well, I already have x. So this negative 1 is going to go in there. So I'm going to leave x as a parenthesis. So 8 parentheses plus 2y is equal to 0. That means that this negative 1 is going to go right in there because the x is equal to negative 1. Negative 1. So I draw my line of separation. I'm going to do 8 times negative 1 is negative 8, right? Well, this negative 80 immediately has to come over to the 0 as plus 8. So cross it out and do plus 8. And I'm left with 2y. And I'm left with 0 plus 8 is 8. 2 times y, right? The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. And 8 divided by 2 kiddos is 4. y is equal to 4. So look at that. I have my y now as well. I got both, right? So let me write it as the final answer here equals x comma y, right? x goes first. My x is negative 1. So negative 1 comma my y goes second. y is equal to 4. Right. And I got to close it up first before. And this is my solution right here for the second problem. And there you go. Right, negative 1, 4 is where these two equations, if I graph them, these two lines, that's where they're going to crash. That's where they intersect. And that right here, kiddos, is our solve system by elimination part two video lesson. So make sure you rewind, make sure you write everything you wrote, everything down that I wrote down. So rewind if you have to, to make sure you write everything down. But that's it. You guys got this. You're good. You're smart. You're capable. Take care of business, guys.